What is up, guys? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode of Ark on the Lost Ark server. So, guys, I've been doing a little bit more shaping of our castle area. Apologize in advance for the frame rate lag. It's going to be a thing in this area. Actually, Jeremy posted um, just last night that they were sending a graphics card performance improvement through. And of course I downloaded it. And guess what? Seemed to make things worse. <laughs> um, they're currently updating their Unreal Engine code. So there should be some minor improvements. Of course, the big ones are gonna be the asynchronous computing. Um, without getting too crazy, that's like, the code that's going to teach um, Arc to get good at doing multiple things at a time. Yeah, basically. That's about as simple as I can put it. So yeah, the frame rate's pretty abysmal for now, but you know, eventually should get better. So you can see I spent a ton of time shaping. Um, I decided just to wall that off and then have like a kind of just a runway that comes back to this side. Because, I mean, I know it's a castle, it should be, like, semi-fortified, but it's it's fortified. By the way, that's why I couldn't build out any farther, I forgot about that. I have uh, a setting on our server to prevent us from building in areas that would disable the drops. So that's why it cut where it cut and it wouldn't let me build any farther. I'm okay with that, though, because, like... That's a really, really good spot, and I think we can still maybe build a foundation from here out to the Obi. If not, we'll go from the other side. It's not a big deal. Not, I'm so, it's warm in this area, and I should have pumped more fortitude because I didn't. If I take my tech gear off, I get warm and fuzzy. Yeah, so that's done. This wall is done. I've started, um, and I've kind of stopped here because I figured, like, I want to decide what I'm doing up here for the tower up here. And I actually came to the decision that up top here, that tower, that's going to be where our teleporter is. That's going to be our teleport tower because we're going to have, like, some living space on the other side. There's a whole other aspect to this mod pack of, like, wooden settler like lower tier uh medieval structures that i want to get into so we're gonna get into some of that over there and do like an actual fortified castle wall with little houses inside and stuff so you know when we tp over here we might want to go to super framey dino right uh, dino storage we might want to go over there to the village. So I was thinking if we have a big, huge tower on top of the hill with our teleport pad. And, I don't know, maybe like a stairway that spirals up to a huge lookout tower. And that kind of thing. We'll still put another tower over there, too. Um, it is going to be a shame. I have a funny feeling even with the improvements. Eventually this will get so laggy that I'll barely be, ever be able to record stuff over here. I do notice, though, when I get away from the dinos, it gets better. So, let's park this guy over here so I can show you what I've been doing and what I've been thinking. There we go. Yeah. So, I've just been working on shaping this out, and for the most part... Oh, the frame rate lag. That's what happens when you build this big an arc. For the most part, this is just walkway, right? Like I said, I put, you know store uh, little doors here or there that's mainly just to get underneath in case i have to to retrieve a dino or something incidentally i had to go into ghost mode to get out of the gate you don't ever want to get stuck in one of those gates because you're stuck till an admin comes basically so you know i've got a railing here you can see i moved all the dinos over all their tails are sticking out yeah it's thing uh stripped a tree down and we've got a walkway big enough for a single person, not dinos. This is all done being walled off. And that's, I think, about all I want to do, really, with that area. Like, we'll see how the frame rate goes. Um, 
In terms of castles, this wouldn't be very well defendable. Like, you could storm this pretty easy this way. Unless there were like 400 million guards and turrets and catapults here. So, if after they do their performance improvements, the game can handle it, we might put a big exterior wall up. But it would have to be a massive one, like go around the OB the whole lines, because the main reason I wanted to build here is the waterfalls, right? So, I don't want to distract from that by having a wall go around them. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. So, We'll continue that when I figure out that tower. Before I got onto that, I kind of wanted to figure out what I was doing here. And, like, this here is a problem, so I'm going to have to figure out some way of covering that up. Um, might use, like, Eco's decorative garden stuff, that kind of thing. But for the most part, we've just got, you know, viewing platforms here now that are finalized. I decided... Oh, you know what? Actually... I'm not sure if Jake has this one, it's only Parasaur. Uh, do I have them on me? Yes, I do. I decided we would, rather than closing this in, leave it open. Why not, right? So we'll put a safety rail so the kids can't fall inside. But yeah, I mean, just a little decorative room, room in the middle of our castle area that we've walled off to keep it safe. Ta-da! It's a thing. Of course, We've got the epic view over here of the waterfall, and we'll be able to see our bridge once we finish that. I'm excited about that. And then, over here, I'm not too sure in terms of what I want to do, like how far of that I want to bring out. I've been thinking, even though... Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to do it. Ah, holy frame rate lag. I think we're going to do it. I don't know. See, I want dinos to be able to get by here. I'm, no, you know what? This is all bad. This bad. That's got to come out and get rounded out. Yeah, that's got to get rounded out. Because every other one, the stairs only come out one, right? So we'll round that out. Just to kind of... Well, you know what? I'll do it off camera, because then I want to get to over there. Alright, that looks better. That looks much better. That looks much, much better. My biggest problem here is I don't really have dino access down this way. Like, this walkway is great for us pedestrians. But, basically, the only path we have for the dinos is straight down, and then they hit a fence. The reason I want to keep structures this close, guys, is... Because nothing should really breed in here now with us doing, or breed, spawn in here now with us doing this. So we can get away with using that as breeding area. Yeah, that's kind of my thought process there. So I definitely want to shape this to this build over here. I've come up with an idea. I think you guys are going to like it. I wasn't even going to hit record till I was sure, but... I think we're there, pretty much. I think we're there. So we've got like a 5x3 space. Yes, 5x3. And we're going to slope it out and we're going to kind of have like a runway that comes here. Are these the right ones? They are. So this will allow us to have a lookout tower that we can like double as dino storage kind of thing. It's these ones we want now. It's so weird how these... I think it, it depends on, like, the orientation you have when you're actually placing stuff. But yeah, this will give us a cute, cool viewing area. And I picked these windows here because I wanted big windows. And actually, I wanted to use the ones they have in the tower up there. But they don't have diagonals for those. So that kind of limits your use of them, right? But that's okay. Variety's good, right? Variety's good. And I hate how it does that. Like, match the size side of the other wall. But this, this I think, will be a, a fair size... Fair size room for breeding, really. I mean, what need, more do you need? We put some feeding troughs in here. That kind of thing. Now, 
We're gonna use a regular gate, because it's either that or I put a behemoth in, and yeah. Yeah, that just won't really suit the build. So we won't be able to get like our biggest dinos in here, unfortunately. But I'm okay with that because really, if you get into Rex breeding and stuff, we can just do that in there, or really you can do that out in the open. Anyways, so I was thinking something like this, and then if we can get this to snap, there we go. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got a nice... Is this the one? That should be the one. Yes. Yeah, I like that. And then it gives us a, just a nice viewing area, right? Of the waterfall and the lake and out in the beach. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice, guys. This is nice. So, I want to build up the top, too. But what you can also see is on this side, we got, you know, the actual foundations going on. But then we got a gap. From where we planed all this out and what I'm thinking I want to do is maybe try and um, line this up in a way that we kind of have some underground access here and maybe a walk around um, is this removable yes that's removable so yeah yeah I think we could actually do a walk around can we? And make it glass and make it look good? Ah, uh, we're not going to be able to do it because that incline there. So that's going to be a problem. So maybe what we'll do is rather than do a full walk around, we'll just do a walk out out here to a patio. Is kind of what I'm thinking. That'll be the plan. Yeah. So now my only problem is I don't know if I want to go another layer high with these glass things. Because then, what do we do above that door there? Let's just place that back now that we... Seriously, game? Seriously. Did it just do what I think it... Oh, it totally did. Ah, oh, don't everything fall down on me. Okay. Thank goodness, everything did not fall down on me. Um, yeah. That bad boy. Actually, I might even in those spots be able to use the actual foundations. So, let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Let's take this section out. See if we can get that done. And then I'll cut because, you know, that's the thing about doing building videos is it's... It's really dull if you actually show all the building, because you don't get much accomplished. And that's why I tend to do most of my... Where's the other ones? Building off-camera, guys. Am I out of the other ones? Am I just blind? Did I leave them on the dyno? With the shizzle. It's not the button I wanted to push. Are you going to let me use a weird one over here? No, it won't let me use one there. So, yeah, I might have to build some of those, but I'm going to get that done. And try and figure out like the next level that we got to figure out the roof the roof's gonna be fun the roof's gonna be fun that doesn't need to be a super tall build we're just gonna have fun with it yeah i have to craft those i'll be back oh yeah guys i think i have an insane idea so i wasn't sure about this i played around with it off camera i decided to put a solid wall here and like if this was kind of the outer tower in a castle area you would have some defense right so maybe a lookout area, but if you go a full um, ceiling wide, it ends up looking really, really like super derpy, right? So I was kind of playing with the fact that um, ceilings can actually snap in arc, like halfway oh, on a wall. So I was kind of looking at that and thinking, could we get like a half ceiling? type hanging area and turns out not only can't that's not where I wanted to okay we'll just we'll go back over here and 
I'll show you what I was doing here. So you can see I've kind of got like a combination. I'm using these bad boys, basically, to keep it curved. So the trick here is, I don't even remember how I did it over here. Okay. I literally, I'm not sure. Oh, because one's going to change based on... Yeah, one's totally going to be different than the other. One's straight, the other's angled, right? So let's go... That's going to be the conundrum. So how did I get along the inside here? Okay, so just go straight, like so, and then we should be able to use these. Yes, that's how I got around it. To take that corner, like so, and that basically gives us a halfway. I was really concerned, like, would I be able to snap those, though? And it looks like it's not really a problem. Um, doing it in certain spots might be tricky. But see, it is possible. See what I mean? We're getting the correct snap point there. It's just a matter of doing a little bit of finagling. So, yeah, what I think we're going to do is we're going to do this all the way around. And then I was thinking we might be overdoing it. I don't know till we try. Honestly, I have no idea. But the other thing I really like is that gives us... See how it is able to add corner pillars? Yeah. I like that, peeps. Now, if we go ahead and throw these battlements on here... Is it going to look too... Uh, and I do apologize about the frame rate lag, like, guys. It does go away when I stop building, I've noticed. Like... Well, it doesn't go away completely, but it gets much better when I stop building. So let's just do a corner section here, see what this looks like from downstairs, and then maybe I'll cut and do it. But yeah, I was thinking, like, if this looks good, we could have kind of that outer walkway and an inner walkway, and maybe just put, like... Uh, I'd still want a layer of these, but we'll cut them out somewhere and put in um, some arches or something. Because you wouldn't actually need this closed, right? Uh, is that going to be a problem? Oh. Dang it, Bobby. You can't snap the battlements to that? Seriously? Why, game? Guys, I feel so disappointed. Alright guys, so I figured out pretty quick that uh, basically none of the decorations outside of the rails snap to those um, triangle ceilings very well. So, yeah. Um, the, the battlement snapped to the walls, not the ceiling, so that's the issue there, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So, um... In order to put, like, a, an actual watchtower, we're going to have to bring the tower in. Which I'm okay with, but I kind of thought, like, at that low level, it would be too low. So, I was kind of thinking, I don't know, we might bring, uh, like, some, uh, what do you call them? Spiral stairs in. And try and put a staircase in the center here. Or I might do some ladders up. I don't know yet. And we'll just have this thin walkway kind of on this like side here. On this floor here. And then we're going to have to do a thicker walkway. That should get us up there. Up here. So we can actually bring it in a level. So that means we're going to have to go like so, right? Basically is what it means. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to be too out. Because we're going to have to have both the outside walkway and the inside walkway. So that's... The, it's the thing. I mean... There's only so much you can do, right? It's the limitations of the game itself. I think, is in all honesty, as much as I complain about it... Because I do complain about it all the time. I acknowledge that, guys. But I think that's why... S plus chooses to go the the other route to be fair and not have like 
a perfect half square like this one does because that's what this is right I'm forever complaining about that with S plus that his triangles aren't a perfect half square well now I've got a mod with the other side of the coin and well that's that's what you run into right the flip side of the really I need to switch for this one um okay then yeah I think that's how it I don't even know anymore I do new guys I do new yeah no no yeah no that's right because it has to be too wide So yeah, um, I think with this one, I've got some gates, like the bigger gates, like we use downstairs, and they have these doors right here that actually fit inside them for like super big windows. So I think what we'll do is we'll put those and then we'll put the regular size doors beside those just to mix it up a bit for the top tower. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Now I have to switch back. See, that's the way it should work, but 80% of the time I find that's not the way it works. Arc. Arc building. Still, this mod's awesome. I'm having a ton of fun with it. So, yeah. Uh, give me a couple guys and I'll be back and show you. Alright, so I decided to go bigger. <laughs> Bam Bam was uh, making a ton of noise for a while, so I couldn't really record. Um, so I've basically done most of downstairs. I've even worked on uh, finishing off the path over here. I'm still not happy with like the current state of dino access, so that's something I'm going to have to work on. Can I get this from here? No, of course not. So I'm going to have to pillar out. It just makes... It's easier doing it this way, especially at this height, than it is flying around. You know what I mean? And most of the time, these things can't seem to make up their mind which side they're snapping with. See what I mean? So I'm, I'm just like... I'm having trouble keeping track, and I'm giving up. They don't seem to really have, like... A real difference, depending on the size you choose. Just one you know, the mesh doesn't necessarily line up. It makes a difference when you're lining it up with, say, foundations. All right, now we're at the hard part. The roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this should be difficult. So, um, yeah. I put these battlements in up top, too. I figured they should be there. And actually, I wanted to show you guys something. See how they got that gap there? BAM! They've got pieces even to fill that in. Now, can we get one of these on from where we're standing? No. Oh crap. Yes, we can, but the incline's way different. Well, that's... What do I do about that, then? Look at the difference in that incline. I mean, there's not much I can do about it. I can't put the diagonals on this side. <sighs> I was liking how high the incline was with the diagonals. That sucks. We're going to have to use... Uh, there are, like, corner pieces for fitting in here. I made up a bunch of those too, so I guess I'm going to have to use those. It's going to be a thing. Oh, so laggy when I'm building now. The game just hates it. It's okay when I first start the server, but after I'm like... Okay, so it's trying to connect to that one. After the server's been running and I've been, like, adding stuff to this area for a while, it starts to really lag every time I play something. Once I restart the server, no problem. Then it, it loves me again. But prior to that, okay, so corner diagonal, is this what we're looking for? That is what we're looking for. Okay. 
Or are we going up too high? I have no idea. This is the first time I've played with the roofing in this mod, guys. So I have no idea what we're what we're in for here with the dimensions that I laid out here. All I know is I'm having a ton of fun. I'm beating the snot out of my server, but it's fun as heck. I would have thought they would have had a, a higher incline than that. Oh well, whatever. It's a thing. We'll figure it out, right? All in the name of science. Science. Yeah. Science. Yeah. I mean, they have, uh... They have straightaway corners, too, from your left corner. What are the inclines like on... Oh, okay, I see what those are for. Those are for coming to joints. Okay, that makes sense. This is crazy. I can't believe how intuitive it is. So you just, you, like, narrow your sides one by one. This, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but... Yeah, and then you just bring your corner pieces in, go left. Right. Yeah. And it's done. And then I'm assuming we go back to the corner diagonal here. And then there's a roof topper I've got a couple of. So the corner diagonal should take... No? Or are we using... Ah, maybe we're using left rights again. Yes, we're using... We would be using left rights again. Not the topper. Wait, what? No, right. Left, right? Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Wait, <gasps> do I even need the topper? Yeah, because the diagonal wants to go. They should have a point that's non-diagonal. They really should. There is, let's, I'll show you the topper. The topper does, like, the little hot thing. You know what I mean? Like that. So I can go like that, and that, and have that kind of detail up top, which is cool. But, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, oh my god, so laggy. Sorry, guys. But this is, this is what you have to go through if I'm actually going to record and build at the same time. It should get better once they do all the final performance improvements, right? Right? Okay, I'm gonna figure that out, craft the last couple, and... Oh! Um, yeah, so that's done, basically. Our walkway is done. I've still gotta fill these things in on our main floor, but our walkway all the way around is done. And I decided to go ladders, because it's a watchtower, right? So it should be difficult to get up so yeah let me place the ladders and the last of the rails and stuff and uh i'll be back you know the thought just occurred to me on top of like decorating this with eco's garden we could totally use this for baby raising too for the bigger dinos just as a cage so like here's the auto feeding troughs baby feeder this thing is perfect. It's not powered yet, obviously. I'll take care of that, right? But yeah, I wanted to bring you guys in at night. I spent some time torching it up. We won't be able to see it just yet. But yeah, it's all done. There's uh, all the ladders are in. The whole thing's torched up. There's even a torch hiding inside this waterfall. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. Most of the torches are on the inside. Oh, I tamed a dodo. Just cause. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put this bad boy back here. Um, I still want to get the other incubators from the other mods. Actually, this one has like little hay bales for the babies. So maybe we'll get all that done at a later date. I'll probably just do it off camera. So we're ready when Midget and I want to breed. But check that out. Isn't it great? So... I went with like a chokehold strategy, so there's three ladders to get up to that floor and then only one for each floor after that. And the second one you actually, or third one you actually have to go outside to get to the top or you have to come in from outside to get to the top. So like it's easy for people to get up, but 
if it's offensive, it's next to impossible. If it's an offensive front, it's next to impossible to get to the top with everybody defending it. Look at that. That is awesome. Guys, come on. Is this an insane build or what? This worth a little bit of lag when I'm building. See, I told you, it's not as bad. When, like, look at that. Oh, I already took photos for screenshots, but I don't know, guys. That's freaking epic. I love it, guys. Oh, looks like I forgot some rails over here. Bad me. We'll get that done right now. I think I still have them on me. Yes, I do. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with like this end for now. Um, obviously there's still some decorating to do with Eco's mods, but I want to get the structure stuff done first, right? But it's looking pretty good. Um, I'd still like to maybe create another way for the dinos to get down here, but I'm kind of thinking it's probably not an issue because the big ones will just breed up there, right? This base is looking awesome, though. I can't wait till we get the those two lookout towers and the even taller um, teleportation tower, I guess we'll call it. But as always, guys, smash that like. If you enjoyed the episode to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content, find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe for more videos, people. As always, thanks for watching. Bye!